Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller. I buy things at estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, rummage sales, thrift stores, and everywhere else in between to flip for a profit on mainly eBay. So in today's video, we are headed to an indoor flea market at an over 55 community in New Hope, Pennsylvania. I've never been to this sale. I am pretty excited. So let's check it out. I know. I, you know, I actually tried it. Hi. Oh, yeah. oh, these are bracelets and necklaces. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's my oh, is it? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was trying to look at this. Sure. It's a, it's a portable. Uh, oh, okay. It's. I see. It's open. Oh, okay. How much is it? Fifteen. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. It's a nice cake plate. Looks like it's missing a lid. The sports table. And a sign. Have dollhouse furniture. Some brooches. <laughs> <Anna Lee. laughs> Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you. I put ears on them. Oh, matches. Oh, okay. Wow, what is this? Oh. They do smell nice. Get that back in there. Pretty. Hmm. Hi, how are you? Good. These are nice. Is that ten dollars for the set? The whole set. Hmm. And the little plates, the, the little ones are all different. Each one has a different pattern. Those are plastic. They look uh, like glass. Yeah. One thing that I have is and it's not, I can't, it can't be worth anything. Brand new. Uh, um, okay, I think I'm gonna get this and these plates. Okay. Let's see if I can put these in my bag. That is good for Yes. <laughs> mm. Thank you. What do we have here? Harvey. 
That's interesting. Black and Decker drill driver. Ten bucks. Longerberger dog leash hook. That's kind of neat. I think I might get that. Mm, smells good. Bermuda Cedar. Alright, I'm gonna get this. I don't know who's running this table. back for that dog leash hook when someone is here. <laughs> hey, no. How much are your bags? They're different voices. They're all designer bags. Yeah. Uh, this is 40 for 45. Mm -hmm. This is 30. Okay. 20 on the coaches. This is 20 and this is 25. Oh, okay. This one's cute. That's oh, nice, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll think about it. Thank okay. you. How much are your shoes? How much are your shoes? What do you want to give me? Are they your size? They are. Eight. Size eight. They're brand new, never worn. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five bucks? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take them. Okay, we have the linen, the linen table. Different. Oops, 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 oops. Almost knocked that one off of there. I have to move this basket. Oh, oh boy. We have tumbling. Linens. I think these are handmade. Oh yeah, that would make sense considering there's all of, all this all this fabric here. This one's not open yet. Kind of neat. Chico's size two. Nice with the chain. Ooh. This is Angora. So soft. Blinged out too. Hmm. And some clown items over here. These are nice. Global design. Marshalls. And pressure cooker. Oh, got some shoes underneath here. These are his spree boots. And medium. Mm. 
here that's not quite open yet. <gasps> Sold last week for QVC on QVC for $219. That is interesting. gonna wrap it up in here okay so now we're gonna get into the haul i did pick up several items off camera so let me just show you what i got at this sale uh it was worth the trip it was a lot of fun uh, my friend and i went together and yeah i would definitely go back so here is what i got i'm playing around with this little bracelet um this was one of the things i did pick up off camera uh, just getting ready to leave the sale and uh, one of the gentlemen came and unblanketed his table, I guess you can say, because uh, we were actually there pretty early uh, and started shopping before they were technically open. Um, so this man opened up right as we were about to leave and I did buy a few things there. Um, this bracelet was one of the things. Actually, hold on. This is actually a set. And um, it's kind of funny because my friend said, you know, what's in that, that box? And I'm like, oh, Fabergé. I just bought dinnerware from Fabergé the other day. So uh, let me take a look. So it turns out this is not Fabergé, but it is um, Kramer. And it is a bracelet and it's, it's in really nice condition. Uh, ruby red rhinestones with, you know, the clear rhinestones, none of the stones are missing or anything. And then it has the matching, uh, clip on earrings. And the man was so cute. He was like, oh, this bracelet's really small let me put it on your wrist. So he did, he put it on my wrist and I, I paid for it and I wore it out of the sale. Um, so I, I mean, I I've sold costume jewelry before, of course. Uh, but it's not like, um, an area of expertise by any means, I guess you could say. So I've actually never even heard of Kramer before. And I was looking up comps on this stuff and it actually looks really good. Um, so, but yeah, at the same time, they're kind of all over the place. So I'm not really entirely sure what I'm going to get for this. I am going to do a little, a little bit more research and uh, see what happens. So yeah, that was a nice find at $10. So one woman had a bunch of electronics. Um, so I did purchase uh, this Kindle Kindle Fire 7, 8 gigabyte. This one is open, but it is still new. She has never used it. Uh, and I got this as well. This is a Kindle Fire 8, HD 8 with Alexa. And this one, this one I already have listed for, um, I think I listed it. I think I listed it for 59 with free shipping, if I remember correctly. I was super tired when I did a few listings yesterday. It was a very long weekend, um, but I think I listed this, let's just say around 50 bucks. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is listed. This one is not listed yet. This is a little bit older of a model, not as many gigabytes, uh, and it is open box, but I'm sure I'll be able to get at least 30 for this. And like I said, I paid 20 for both of them. Uh, at one of the stops, I picked up this Google, Google Nest Mini. I actually already have this listed too for I think around $34 with free shipping. I did pay 10 on this. So that's a little steep. Uh, I got a little excited. Um, the new in box things sometimes get me uh, get me going crazy. And um, the, the minis are not as good as like the actual full size. And I should have probably offered five on this and I didn't. So I'm really only gonna make about a $10 profit on this. But profit is profit, right? Um, but yeah, I did offer free shipping on that, but 
Okay, then I picked this up for $15. This is one of those um, Halo Bolt chargers. I mean, you can charge, um, you, you can jumpstart your car. It comes with jumper cables. It comes with, um, you know, a car charger, a wall plug, so you can like recharge this thing. But basically you can charge this thing and you can even plug like, um, there's like an actual like AC outlet. So if you need to plug in, like if you have no power and you just need your cup of coffee, you can plug your coffee maker into this thing. Um, so I actually have one of these um, that I have for personal use if I ever need it. And I picked one up for my daughter last year. If you guys remember, um, it was in one of my yard sale videos. I picked up one used for my daughter and gave that to her for my youngest daughter for her car. And this one I'm going to sell. I did pay $15 for it, and I did list this for $75 plus shipping. Uh, this is actually new in the package. It's got the seal on each side. However, this, the one seal, this one, the one seal is broken. But this side's still sealed. Like, this thing has never even been pulled out of, like, the sleeve. So this is new, new in box, and um, not a bad, not a bad find. So from the same lady... I also got this Kindle Nook. Now this is a pretty nice one. Um, it is HD plus, 32 gigabyte, Wi-Fi. I was moving so quick, however, I did not realize, and I did pay $15 for this. I did not realize that the charger was not in the box. So I can't even power this bad boy on. And I said to her, I'm like, has this been used? Because so many of these items are like new. Like she was like, listen, I am not like technically savvy. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have not used this stuff. But this was clearly open, clearly like, um, it does have a couple very faint surface scratches on the screen and I don't have the charger. So I'm contemplating if I just sell this kind of as is, I think I'm only gonna get around $30 for it without the charger, without being able to power it on um, with the couple surface scratches. Uh, but then I feel like I can order like an aftermarket charger, not even the brick, just the cable, cause it does take like one of those larger ones. Um, and then I can probably get more for it, but I don't know. I haven't decided what exactly I'm going to do with this yet, but really a shame. I should have taken a little more time to make sure the charger was in there. I mean, I was assuming it was going to be underneath because, you know, most of her stuff hadn't been used and this and that. So, uh, oh, well, anyhow, moving on. Even got the paperwork with it. Um... I did pick up this Melamine, Melamine dinnerware set. It's, it's got, it's got wear, it's got scratches, uh, but several different, it's a blue and white pattern, Americana with a hint of nautical, because after all, this is Nautica, and they always seem to have a hint of nautical stuff. This looks like it has some grease on them. I, I'm going to have to wash dishes before I list this stuff. <laughs> Anyway, it was $10 for the set, um, four salad plates, four dinner plates. They didn't clean this stuff well. I mean, was her husband doing the dishes? <laughs> no offense to you guys watching. I'm just kidding. It could even be your kids doing the dishes, but this is over an over 55 community. So I don't think they have little kids, but I swear kids are like blind when it comes to washing the dishes. Like my children wash a dish. Oh yeah, right. I go to use it later on. It still has like three inches of grease on it. I'm like, do you, do you guys like lose your vision when it's time to like wash a dish? I don't understand this. Um, so yeah, check these out. These are really cool though. Um, this one looks like it has a crack, but I don't see it going through to the other side. Maybe it's just like dirt. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was a bad buy, but nah, you know what? Cause these bowls, these, these will sell at least, um, 
I think. They look kind of stained, but maybe that's the... I should look this over. I'm telling you, I am... I am at the point where I am so excited, so itching for the yard sales to start. And um, I, I need to calm down a little. I need to calm down just, just a little bit because uh, I'm gonna watch what I'm buying here. Told myself that's what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna keep myself a little bit more in check. And uh, I don't think I'm starting out too well. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> so. I'm a, I love Longer Burger. I love buying it and selling it. Uh, I picked up this Longer Burger dog leash hook for $2. It's not going to be a crazy money maker, but it will sell. Uh, the same place I purchased the Kramer um, set, I got this Michael Kors bag. It's like a woven, woven straw material, I guess you could say. Really nice hardware on the front. $5. What a great deal. Uh, it does have the little chain tucked inside, and it's in very clean, very clean condition. So this was a good pickup for $5. Um, and then I got these for $5 also. This is a pair of Lucky Brand perforated kind of loafers. Lucky Brand always does pretty well for me. Um, I'm going to say maybe 30 bucks on these plus shipping. They are a size eight medium and they are, they are brand spanking new without the box. And lastly, I believe this is the last thing. Ooh, almost knocked my camera over. Uh, so when I, one of the first tables I visited, uh, there was a cuckoo clock for $25 and I kind of thought about it for a few minutes, walked back around uh, and I'm like, you know what, let me let me see if they'll take 20. So she said, yes, I'm not sure if it works. I'm hoping it works. You know, I'm gonna have to like test it out a little bit. It is from Germany as most of these are. It is the Schneider brand. You can see that right on the front, which seems to do pretty well. Um, I don't know. It's got some weird dates on the back. I don't know, but I'm not sure how old this is or anything like that, but this brand seems to do pretty well. I am going to have to research this particular model a little bit more. Um, it's got the pine cones, the weighted pine cones. It has this thing that would go sit right on top here um it's upside down <laughs> i noticed that in the camera i'm like wait a minute that little that little bird's gonna freaking hit his head when he uh pops out of this uh little house this guy right here i think there should be a little guy in there um so yeah i gotta i gotta try to test this thing I don't know, but it looks like it's in good shape. And then we have, there, I think there might be one more wooden piece. Yes, where does this thing go? Oh, this hangs, I think this hangs from the back here. There we go, we have a complete clock now. So, off the top of my head, I'm going to say $100 for this. That's just off the top of my head. Um, so we'll see what happens. Overall, it was a good sale. It was it was a lot of fun. And like I said, I would stop back there again. I am happy with the stuff I got. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. All right, real quick, I almost forgot this. Um last item. So the lady where I picked up all the electronics, I also picked up this coach bag for $20. This thing, I love it. So you can adjust the strap to make it a cross body. It's got like this uh, kind of like multicolor camo print. Love a camo print. And um, yeah, it, you can see the signature C underneath it got this storage space in the back. You lift up the large flap. Got some storage in the front. 
And some storage, of course, inside. And like I said, this thing is in great condition. Uh, I'm thinking maybe at least $70 for this. I really like this bag. So yeah, pretty excited to find that also. So anyhow, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.